North California Four Piece Rock Band are back with their tenth. You hear me, got a tenth studio album. It's crazy because it seemed like just yesterday I was listening to the band's first hit song, Last Resort, on the radio. Actually, it was just yesterday <laughs> because, <laughs> like, since rock radios like feel like that's the Papa Roach go to song. So. I think it was the only song of theirs I knew until this album. Yeah, uh, you think Papa Roach hasn't released an album in the past fifteen years? Yeah, you know, yeah. but they've been. Chugging out records like for a while. And it's been actually two years since the last album, Crooked Teeth, and four years since the album Fear, which was one of the first albums I, re- I reviewed. And I recall I wasn't too impressed. So I'm going to admit it to you guys. I was a huge fan of their sophomore album, Infest, in, two- in the year 2000. Uh, I've always been a fan of rap metal. So when Papa Roach and a couple of other bands brought that sound to the mainstream in the late 90s, early 2000s, I was all for it. Mm. Loved it. Um, but when the trend died in 2003, I kind of understood why, like, the the band was moving away from that sound and changing. Because, like, the album they put out in 2004, um, Getting Away With Murder, lead singer Jacoby uh, Shaddix, like, stopped rapping and featured more, like, singing and his melody and his vocals as the band, like, switched to, like, a more alternative hard rock sound on subsequent releases. And I've always found the singles I heard from the middle of the band's career to be both subpar and forgettable. But by 2012, they put out the album The Connection, and they brought back like some of like the old school hip hop influence and blended it with like their current straightforward pop rock style, which I definitely heard on their last album, uh, Crooked Teeth, and it was like an improvement from the 2015 album. I thought so. Papa Roach seems to have found like that balance, like I said, and, and to piece the old and new fans. And I was looking forward to hearing this latest record. So, um, Caroline, you're saying you never listened to an album before. You just know Last Resort. I think that was the... I, <clears throat> there might have been, like, another one of their hit songs that never... Like, that was always playing on the radio um, that I knew. Because, like, as I was listening to it, I had, I knew I had heard at least one of their songs before. Because I knew the name of the band. And as yeah. I was listening to it, I was like, God, I can't put my finger on it. I knew... I know I know them from something. Um, but I never listened to an album. I didn't know they were making music for as long as they were. I didn't know they were still making music. Yeah. I thought they just like made one song in like the early to mid two thousands and then just like dissipated into the ether. <laughs> Apparently they didn't. Yeah. Devin, how about you? Uh, you listened to them before? Or? Um, I heard last resort years ago and then I think they were doing a song with like the black eyed peas. And I think Ooh. I heard that song. I, think I missed that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think it was like anxiety or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird time. So this is going to be interesting then, you yes. know. So like most of their albums, Jacoby's lyrics cover like issues like relationships, isolation, life, death, and finding positivity in your in your existence. And the music is as equally cliche. <laughs> so take the song Renegade music, for example. Um mm. For the song that's supposed to be an anthem for rebellion, uh, they sure play it safe with like their muddled Rage Against Machine esque guitars and pseudo gloomy bass tones. And Jacoby even like rips off the motherfucker uh, line from um, Zach De La Roach when he said that on the song Killing the Name. So don't think I didn't fucking notice that. I'm like, this bull, dude. I was pissed. That's the best part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you, you, you do know it's like totally ripping off Rage Against Machine and the sound of the song lazily. Yeah, I, I, I was like going through because I saw a lot of the, the, um, the songs on YouTube and I was like going through comments and they were like, oh, well, they did this to like pay homage to their favorite bands and whatnot. I'm like, where? Like, are you sure? Uh, whatever. <laughs> Title track has like a more electro program rock beat with the digital hip hop drum beat to match. He casually raps on this one while shouting, who do you trust during the hook? The song's lyrics are very repetitive, but I thought the most clever line on that song, in the company of the rich, I'll take loyalty over royalty. I was like, okay, that is deep. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's That's surprisingly deep. Yeah. um, But for the most part, all the lyrics are generic. Like the chorus on the song "Problems" is I got I got problems. <laughs> like never mind the the um the improper grammar. I'm like that's terrible lyrics. You see a song called "Problems" that's gonna be your fucking chorus. Wasn't the chorus of "Who do you trust?" Just 
Who do you trust? trust? Yeah, but that's deeper, man. Is it? <laughs> is it really? Yeah. I think it was in like the first song where he was like, "What if you can't even trust someone with your own last name?" Yeah, it's like, like, wow. <laughs> I first heard that, I'm like, what the. Oh my <laughs> god. I've never thought about that, bro. I think what's both is like that Pop Roach is product priding themselves on like exploring new genres, but almost every track I hear on here sounds like another band to me. Like I know yeah. we're gonna agree on this one, but uh what's it called? Elevate. Elevate. Mm. Opening lyrics like when he's like, Whoa, oh, lift me higher before like the the, mm. the drum beat comes in and then he starts to kind of sing. Like that ginger gingerfied rap that he does. He, I hate. I hated all of it through ev- like every song where I he like rap. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was just so embarrassing. Now, that 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 doesn't that remind you guys of Imagine Dragons? Yes. Ugh. Instantly. Hardcore. Even the song yeah. Top of the World. Same thing. I'm like, okay, now you're yeah. Imagine Dragons. Yeah. Oh. Rage Machine. The earlier song I mentioned. Oh, You're paying homage. God. You're paying yeah, homage. There's a difference between paying homage and yeah. just stealing. Just, Papa. I feel like it's kind of like is what's that his first name? They're like <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Roach. Mr. <laughs> I feel like they're kind of like you know what is popular now. Right. Yeah, right. All right, let's do that. What and are then, the kids like? What are the kids like? Give me like all the popular music. You know, yeah. they do it. Uh, the the first song I want to say that the uh, the ending is the song you were talking about, Caroline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one sounded like uh, Lincoln Park who are one of their rap core compadres mm. during like the time, but now they're like the Watertown program alternative pop rock bands. So they're not even ripping off good Lincoln Park, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then the song Feel Like Home um, gives me more like a 2000s vibe with the upbeat post grunge sound. Uh, he he kind of sound like Puddle of Mud like vocally, but I know the song's not as depressing as Puddle mm-hmm. of Mud song or the fact that Puddle of Mud was a, a big deal. That's more depressing, <laughs> you know? Um, like the album to me sounds like half ass. Yeah. Except for one fing song. All right, try it. You know what it is. I think so. Yes. They throw this random aggressive hardcore punk track called I Suffer Well. Random <laughs> song starts off buzzsaw guitars before like the band kicks in like high speed, pounding drums, Jacoby's like distorted screaming mm. vocals. Made this minute and twenty seconds an absolute blessing. I was like, where the f- was this energy and passion for the other 11 tracks right. this song is so f-ing good it does not fit on this album mm. <laughs> in both style and quality yeah. like that that's what made the song suck because it's like it doesn't right. belong here <laughs> like, you know uh so what did you guys think of that song like in that like left turn <laughs> like the same reaction as you i i actually put i actually like this song like um, I wish they added more songs that sounded insane and hardcore and higher energy as mm. this. Like, and I was disappointed, first of all, because it was so short. Mm. And like, it's the only song like that on the. I'm like, why couldn't mm. it just be more of this? Yeah. Like, what was wrong with that? Like, what do you think, Caroline? Like, I completely agree. Yeah. yeah. The rest of the album was very like one note, very mm. like you know what's gonna happen, you know what this like the singing is gonna sound like, you know what the instruments are gonna sound like. And that one song was just like completely different. It was refreshing. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, and the album's over. Yeah. You know, two songs later and it's over. And I thought of like, and I didn't wanna, cause I hadn't listened to Linkin Park in a very long time since like high school. Mm. And I kept thinking, I'm like, man, this is a lot, is this like, this ha- This is kind of like what I remember Linkin Park was like. So I'm glad that you like mentioned that. Yeah. Because I didn't want to be the, the idiot that was like, oh, this is like Linkin Park and you guys just being like, no. Yeah. <laughs> this but, is when Linkin Park sucked. So they're just like doing what Linkin Park sucked at doing. <laughs> Which ex- Yeah, exactly. So it was just like, this is like Linkin Park and this is why I never liked Linkin Park. <laughs> and like, so now why am I listening to a, a not Linkin Park band play Linkin Park? Yeah. So my pet peeve is, is being happened with this band. I hate when bands claim they're evolving. But they uh, sound like other groups, leaving them less original than before. Like, if you put on that song, uh, Maniac, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. And I told you, oh, this is the new Three Days Grace song. You would f***ing believe me. (laughs) You know, it's just like, they literally, Papa Rose literally has no distinct sound anymore. Yeah. Like, when you heard Last Resort, like, that was a a really memorable, creative guitar riff that people still, you know, were talking about. They have nothing like that on here. There's nothing that they play that is just like, wow. That's innovative, man. I can't wait. Yeah. That's going to go down in history. Right. There's this one song that's like this like, kind of upbeat, acoustic-driven song called Not The Only One, mm. which also doesn't sound like them at all. And it's and it's like that song is where they're trying to be different, or I mean trying to be more innovative, but then it's just, it's so jarring because there's like so many different things happening in that song. It's like it's, it's the acoustic opening. Then like, you know, it gets like all hard. 
like in the middle, then it goes back to that. And then mm. at the end of the song, it's kind of like it's like a faster outro. And it's like, where was this for the rest of the album? Like, at least it's not as good as that one song we're talking about, but it's like different, better than like everything else you're doing. Yeah. Um, who should go first on this one? Because I think like I think Devin. Yeah. Oh, OK. I like the quick drum beat, but it seems strange considering what the subject matter was. For what song? That one? Uh, yeah, you're not the only not the one. one. Okay. Because I feel it was like more like depressing kind of, right? And I was like, mm. oh, right, whatever. Uh, what I want the loser. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, um, I'm starting to question what these lyrics are talking about. Like, mm. if he's just rhyming for the sake of rhyming, then okay, I guess. But, you know, I said, I don't know why I find. Oh, but I don't know why I found the tempo change near the end hysterical. I don't know why. <laughs> right. <laughs> Honestly, like, I thought. Um, the beginning, like the first half of the album was pretty like cringeworthy and mm. like pretty annoying, but there was like a few songs that I actually enjoyed it on there. But, um, overall I'd say download this. Wow. Really? I, would, I wouldn't say skip it or like f- it. Like you can, it's still like, I don't, it's audible. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's music. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes. They so, achieved I don't, recording I don't, an album. Yes. I don't hate it. There's going to be people that like that kind of stuff, mm. I guess. But, like, because just because of those few songs, I guess, that I really did mm. enjoy, where it was, like, like you said earlier, like a throwback to, like, 2000s rock and whatnot. Yeah. And, like, the one uh, near the end, like, that sounded like Linkin Park. And, mm. you know, I was really feeling that one. So, I mean, yeah, just download it. Mm. Well, I think I agree with him, like, you know, in a way, because I think the, the apologists for, for uh, Papa Roach will say this is amazing. Like, you were probably reading in the comments. So, yeah, I was like, but oh, okay. Real talk, like, you know, I think, like, they're, this album sounds rushed and uninspired to me. They don't have mm. to put an album every two years if this is what they're going to do. Mm. Um, so I'm going to say, I'm going to drop lower and say my ratings skip this album, too. Um, it's... It's a shame that the last album was a little bit better, but I don't remember that album really either. I just remember it was like, <laughs> oh, the rapping, that's cool. But then it's like, that's that's not that's only going to go so far if, if it's tripe. Yes, that's why, that's why I said it, it's tripe. Mm. Um, what do you think, Caroline? Um, well, I was really indifferent about this album. I want to say that the only strength is like the instruments. And like the beat and the like the sound of it, the lyrics and the singing are just awful, yeah. and I hate all of them. Okay, I'll agree with you. They're they're better. They're, they're better than everything than, else. Yeah. 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 So like, if boards, you want to yeah. listen to this album, do it for that reason only. Like, ignore everything else. If you want um, to. Yeah. If you want to, yeah. but um, I also agree that it's very cringy. Um, <laughs> I feel like the it's like I don't know the now that I know the band's been around for like twenty plus years or whatever. I they must be getting on like a older like middle aged or whatever. So it definitely and like but when I was listening to it, I was like, this sounds like fifty year olds trying to write for like eighteen year olds, and that's exactly what it must be because mm. it's very like try hard almost. It's like, yeah. yeah, we're still with it. We know what, what, you know, what ails you kids. What up fellow kids. Right. <laughs> well, how do you do? How do you do fellow kids? So like, I found that uncomfortable and I was just like the yeah. vicarious embarrassment of it. So just skip it. Do your Thank you. Favor. Oh yeah. Jump up on Devin. He's too, he's too happy. <laughs> You're on too this nice. One. You're too I nice am. in this I man. Really am. Yes. But uh, maybe we're not, we're, maybe we're too, we're too old. Caroline. Maybe we just don't get it. But yeah, what do you guys think out there? Yeah, if you heard the new uh, Papa Roach album, tell us what you think in the comment section. Send us an email if you have more to say, and also tell us what your rating would be as well. We appreciate all your thoughts. Yeah.